today. I know I've seen some of your faces and we work with some of you already, but um, I'm excited to tell you a little about, or about the work that we do. Um, all right. So Food Lifeline has been working to end hunger in Western Washington for over 30 years now. We are the regional affiliate of Feeding America, which is a national network of food banks. And um, currently in Washington state, one in five children and one in seven adults struggle with hunger. Last year, we distributed enough food that helped feed over 778,000 people throughout our network through the help of our agency member network of over 275 food banks, meal programs, and shelters. On average, about one third of a food bank's inventory comes from Food Lifeline, so we're really more of like a food bank's food bank. In 2016, we moved into our new facility um, that will eventually enable us to double our capacity to move food. Last year, we distributed over 40 million pounds throughout our agency network. To us, the fact that an estimated 40% of the food produced in the United States goes to waste really points out that hunger is a logistical problem. And so we've really focused on creating sustainable and efficient um, systems of collection and distribution to ensure that our agency members um, have a source of food throughout the year that they can give out to their clients. We partner with a wide, a wide range of industries. We partner with retailers, large-scale processors, restaurants, farms, grocery stores, all in an effort to recapture uh, wasted but still good food and put it into the hands of hungry folks instead of it going uh, um, and ending up in the waste stream. Capturing food from these sources enables us to create five meals for every one dollar we spend and we rely on our incredible volunteers to help sort and repack that product. Like this 1,500 pound tote of coffee that was a test roast by one of our donors. Um, we are in the Pacific Northwest and everyone loves coffee. Um, last year, we had the help of over 10,000 volunteers and they donated their time with us, which was the equivalent of 22 full-time employees. And we're looking to grow that to 20,000 um, over the course of the next few years in our new space. <coughs> we have a couple different sourcing programs. Um, our full plate program works with farms uh, manufacturers, pro processors, uh, we have our grocery rescue program that works with uh, the grocery stores to partner those donations directly with the agencies in their neighborhoods. And our Seattle's Table program is where we capture all of the excess product um, from the restaurants that we work with um, and partner them directly with our, uh, the, uh, the hot meal programs in the neighborhood. For distribution, we have mobile food pantries that go out into areas um, that serve folks that are in um, more rural communities or in food deserts. We have a kids' cafe, um, which brings nutritious and kid-friendly product directly to our kids live, learn, and play. So these are after-school programs and summer programs. Um, and then we have a Target Meals for Minds program that was uh, created in partnership with Target in the understanding that kids can't learn if they're hungry. So we now have a food bank once a month in one of Seattle's highest need uh, elementary schools, Northgate Elementary, where the majority of children are eligible for free and reduced lunches. As a donor, there's many reasons, or a potential donor, there are many reasons why it makes sense to donate. Um, tax benefits, you're eligible for um, some tax reimbursements for donations. There's environmental benefits from reducing the waste, uh, savings from reducing your own waste costs. Um, employee satisfaction tends to increase when they're able to participate in things that help their own communities. Um, food safety is paramount to us. We really believe we're an extension of our food donors and sourcing and distributing safe food is of utmost importance to us and we adhere to all of the safety standards of any other uh, food industry. So we really believe in creating a sustainable hunger relief program and that it really relies on the help that we get from our donors, um, like you all for that. And thanks to help from our donors, we're able to provide 90,000 meals to our hungry neighbors every single day. 
And that in combination with the, um, the advocacy and policy work that we do, we really uh, believe that we can work with donors to end hunger in Western Washington, which is why we say that hunger doesn't have to happen with your help. Thank you. Thank you.